Hi, I'm Kit McDaniel, Editor-in-Chief of AI5000. In this, our fourth edition of the magazine, we're focusing in on endowments and foundations. As many know, this group of asset owners took a lot of heat in 2008 and 2009 for mismanaging their liabilities and running, and running into cash shortfalls across the board. This misperception of risk across the American endowment and foundation scene is likely the result of an environment where people try to best their peers instead of match their assets to their, to their liabilities. So one of the most interesting interviews we did this time around in AI5000 is with Nassim Tlaib. Uh, you'll probably know him from his books, The Black Swan, Fooled by Randomness. The book's about uncertainty and um, the, the question of how much people know. He is notoriously a, a journalism hater. He, I think George Will is one of his arch nemesis. Um, he thinks journalists quite often believe they know more than they do, so it's quite intimidating going and meeting him. I met him in Larchmont uh, in mid-January. Uh, he's actually speaking at our conferences in May in New York and in London in October as well, so it was part preparation for that. But I got there, and unbeknownst to me beforehand, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. He's very opinionated. So for our cover story, we did a profile uh, of the Wake Forest Endowment. And this was done with the complete cooperation of their new CIO, Jim Dunn. He comes from Wilshire out in California, where he ran their alternative investment portfolio. And now he's running this $1.2 billion fund. And so I went down to North Carolina, my first time in the, the true south, um, and spent two nights there. Went to a basketball game with the with the endowment office, interviewed literally everyone from Jim, uh, the CIO, to the football star come investment interim. I think his name's Willie Dixon, if I remember correctly. And so we had a real good snapshot at what an endowment is doing post-2008. As you may know, endowments across the board suffered liquidity issues. Wake Forest much less so since they rely much less on the endowment to fund the school. And in the future, I think AI5000 will be doing a lot more of these profiles. Each issue is focused around either an issue like SRI investing or around a uh, fund style, corporate fund, public pension fund, sovereign wealth fund. So another one of our interrogations is with Adam Smith, which is the pen name of George Goodman. He is he's best known in writing for discovering Warren Buffett. He was asked by Ben Graham to rewrite or, or redo a new version of The Intelligent Investor. And Ben Graham wanted him to do this with Warren Buffett. His famous answer is, who is Warren Buffett? So he flew out as an author to Nebraska, met Warren Buffett, and in his book, Super Money, I believed, introduced him to the world. So George, or Adam Smith, is now 79 or 80. And along with Asset International and Robert X. Cringely, a very famous tech writer, we're doing a joint venture. It's called AdamSmithsMoneyWorld.com where those two authors are just going to post their thoughts and uh, their conversations. They both meet with very high-end you know, high financial types. And so we're going to have an insight into what they are uh, seeing in the markets.